The Newcastle Disease Vaccine Project in Tigre region, northern Ethiopia, started in January 2017. Its objective was to introduce and implement a Newcastle Disease Vaccination and General Poultry Health and Management Program in 30 districts in the Tigre region through female village vaccinators with goals to reach 150,000 households. The project aims to empower women whose minimum education qualification is grade 10 who are categorized as landless women. Uh, the vaccinators are uh, ladies, landless ladies, because uh, they are poor. In August 2016, government was introduced to the regional government in Tigray. Newcastle disease is a major killer disease of poultry in the region. By October, the regional government had trained 378 female vaccinators. Government became a partner in the initiative in January 2017 to offer awareness support to train additional 163 vaccinators supporting the cold chain. Since then, vaccinators have been administering 3,000 to 4,000 vaccinations per month. A total of 2.8 million doses of the Newcastle vaccine has been purchased from the National Veterinary Institute and distributed to all project areas in the region. Newcastle disease is a contagious and fatal disease that can kill up to 80 to 90 percent of a flock. The yearly cost of the disease is estimated to be 2 billion US dollars. With the Newcastle disease vaccine, survival of the birds is assured. It's now six months into the start of the project and we are following some of the trained female vaccinators who are sensitizing local poultry keepers about the importance of the Newcastle disease vaccine. Yosefu Afewerki has 400 egg-laying chickens. He vaccinated them four times against Newcastle disease and none of them died. They are chickens, but they have a life like us. So we are in order to pray to them or for their hands, they need a vaccination. We already gave them about four times the Newcastle and uh, fall pox. Because if we didn't give them a vaccination, uh, we lost so many capitals. Nunuse Konese started with 286 chicks which have now matured and are laying eggs. He says out of the 286, he collects 270 eggs a day and sells each egg at 2.5 to 3 Ethiopian beer, which translates to a total income of about that 5 US dollars a day. I Sultan I a farmer pays 50 cents or half an Ethiopian beer, which is same as 2 US cents for a dose of the Newcastle disease vaccine. The program has helped the female vaccinators to save the earnings from the services they provide to the farmers, to start their own poultry farms, and has allowed them to chase their dreams of becoming investors. This is my house. I start. I come. I started for September. Uh, above uh, hundred ch children, uh, chickens. We elect them and train to be vaccinators uh, because to they got some benefits they become uh, professionals with uh, animal health and uh, animal production they support the uh, governmental office uh, they protect the poultry from disease we have almost uh, in Makale city about uh, 6,000 poultries. The women's vaccinated uh, almost uh, 12,000 
100 portraits. تاعز بحال قد بزحات نايدوه حمام جدا بزح فلتات عين رمي حجين نايدوه حمامات من كل خليو كأونا تمن جبار دماني أو صغير نخيرنا نخطر. As more farmers embrace the value of vaccinating their chicks against Newcastle disease, death of birds will be reduced and the region will see improved income at household levels. Our plan is yeah to decrease mortality. Rate of poultry in our region. Koino, moche shuun bato sahi miiti hun hafta miiti na hau yom azi darajaz. Sahamni at sarahuun kat anker kusak sfahfahi zidali.